I am in the middle of a house construction, which means that I'm full of injuries everywhere. Like that. So I am unable to do a maintenance on the volcano scape today. But luckily, I've got two more hands. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Yes, you heard it right. Our young talent, David, is here to help me. He's much better. Hi, guys. Please tell me, because we're being very spontaneous today, what are you going to do today? This will be the first bigger maintenance on this volcanoscape. The height of the carpet plants are 90% okay. I've seen some gloss at the Japanese uh, in the Japanese tanks. It was like five millimeters. Yeah. So yeah. can you do the Japanese style, trim it five millimeters and just keep it there? Yeah, I, I will try. Let's do that. We will trim the Ludwigia around half of this side. I would trim the uh, the top stems a lot more than half. I don't want to lose the uh, the perspective of the narrow yeah, yeah. narrowing. I understand. And and right now what we see is like. The volcano itself is, is getting narrow towards the top, but then the plants are opening up in the middle. Also, I want to keep the uh, gloss so from going towards the front glass. Leave it on the front glass, but not everywhere. So let's not have it continuous. You should trim it like base yeah, of, yeah. Of, of black sand. Maybe add some new plants, some immersed plants to the top of the volcano. I have a interesting idea for that. So this plant called Climacium japonicum. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I don't want moss in this aquarium. But it's, that it's was not the main a, idea. Not it's a, gonna go everywhere. No, it's not this kind of moss. Do you want palm trees? Yes, like places On a where, volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's not, not natural. No, don't ask me. You just stand up for your ideas. I love it, mate. <laughs> yeah, okay, Yeah, thanks. please do it. Yeah, I love it. Please go ahead. I'll be sitting down and just enjoying the show. <laughs> yeah. Lucky me and lucky you guys. I remember that uh, many years ago when Dave Chow has visited us, I took him to our friend in Poland, ADA Poland, Adam Paschella. And we went there and there were no cameras and Dave was scaping just for fun one tank for Adam. And I was sitting there doing nothing. I had no cameras around me. I had no text to say. I had just time to enjoy what, uh, what one of the best aquascapers in the world did. Do you see the cave on the top of the red line? Yes, yes. So that could be covered with red somehow. Okay. If plant a long one that is at least 10 centimeters long. If you don't have one, get one from the other ones on the right. I can see one that is 10 centimeter from here on the right side. I love this. Just not doing anything. It's a new experience for me. I never did this before. See, now we have the whole line stretching from the left side all the way almost to the top of the tank, which is pretty cool because you have the right side the same way, stretching all the way to the top of the water. Detailing is the best. I know that you had a hobby of being a barber. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a hobby, but it, it was a... Side hustle? Side hustle, maybe, yeah. In what way is that connected to aquascaping? Hold this scissor. The way you, the, yeah. the way you hold this it? This is the wrong way. You should hold it with your ring finger and you should cut with one side. This is stable. Uh, am I okay now? Yeah, and this one is stable and this one is oh. move, moving and this is the... So you're always using the top yes. part to, to trim like this. You can trim more you precisely? Can, yeah, more precisely.
at the bottom of the Albida Brown, we have no plants and I can see the soil. And you want to add something? I want here. to add something there. I'm not sure what. We could add some, uh, some glosso there, maybe. There's an Amano shrimp there. I thought we don't have with the alternative array Nikimini because they eat it. Okay, let's take it out. You trim the bed leaves of the other and turn. So now it's nice and round. It's gone. Here's the twiz tweezer. <laughs> One more empty space for the oh, yes. Ludwig it's Apalus. Oh yes, very empty. When you push it down, you intentionally break the stem and then push down the part that you just broke off. Yeah, it's the lazy, lazy technique. If you need, need to make it one centimeter shorter, it's the best way. I would prefer to have red around that rock all the way. Here? So it's like the whole red thing is going around it. Can you do that? Sure. I have no comments to the Glosso, except I want to have the Japanese five millimeter thick structure. Yeah, I never seen that before. I asked them how they do it and they say, we just trim it. You guys need to know that at the end of the majority of the maintenance videos, we have images shot just a couple of days after the actual video shooting session. At the end of this video, you guys will see how this tank looks like in about four days. But if you want to see how this thing looks in its best form, you should follow us. So you should just check out our social media pages. I can see some loose glossostigma leaves here and there, but I will forgive you. So this tank actually needed David's finesse. So he's detailing his eye towards details. I'm also very happy with the end result. Really cool. Can you check it from this angle? No. I can't. <laughs> yes, I can't. <laughs> from this angle, it looks really nice. Shouldn't we use some floating plants? Just a few. That of was them? my idea before the video. Don't say yeah. that. I said it first. No. Let's invent the way to keep them in one place. We can do that, but not today. All that remains to be done is uh, to net everything out. I prefer to add the ADA uh, green gain after trimming yeah, a good, so that good plant. uh, the plants will heal uh, a lot quicker. The problem is that some of the lava rocks are greenish and that removes a lot from the contrast of the, of the tank. So I would suggest that during some water changes we, we put some Seachem XL on them. Using toothbrush on the lava stones is not really working because they're so porous in structure. I cannot imagine the palm trees here, David. Why? I don't know. I can just not imagine where to put the palm trees and how. Have you been to a real volcano before? There's no palm trees on no, top. No, no. I've never palm been, trees. been to a volcano. I don't want to build a tank with palm trees. You don't? I just want to mess your tank with my palm trees. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not my best idea. While he's finishing the scape, you should know that we're done. Don't go anywhere because you're gonna see how this whole thing looks in a couple of days. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, support the channel by being a channel member. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.